Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? the Titans coming in. Saints are a three-point favorite in the ball game, and boy, there is a tremendous amount of anticipation, as there is with the start of every season, but this one in particular, because it does feel like for the New Orleans Saints, sort of starting anew. And yes, that was the case a year ago. It was for the first time in 16 years, someone other than Sean Payton was the head coach. The bounty gate year notwithstanding, you all know what I mean. It was Dennis Allen, but a year ago felt like Dennis Allen continuing the Sean Payton era. It was Dennis Allen, it was still Pete Carmichael, who's still in place. Largely the same staff was still there. Many of the same players. It was Jameis Winston's team as the starter. And we had tremendous expectation for that offense a year ago. And injuries derailed so much of it, and the defense got off on a terrible foot to start the season and steadied themselves later in the year and looked more like what we've become accustomed to see with the New Orleans Saints. But the offense never got going, as it was the first time since 2005 that the Saints finished outside of the top 20 in scoring offense. So the big question for this team is in committing to Derek Carr and having Michael Thomas healthy, sophomore year for Chris Olave, Trevor Penning now starting after using a first-round pick on him a year ago, Jawan Johnson a year older, you bring in Foster Morrow, you look at this offense and you go, are you ready to reclaim your spot among the NFL's elite? Where one of the things that's just a given is when you see those gold helmets, the Saints are going to go out and they are going to score. I don't have the answer to that. And I'm really not sure I have the answer to that this weekend. You know, Dennis Allen said it earlier this week, and I don't know that you could say it any better when you talk about what you face with these Tennessee Titans. They play a lot of close games. Uh, they don't beat themselves. You know, they, 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 uh, they take advantage of, you know, when, when their opponents make mistakes. Um, so I think, I think, they're 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 generally one of the more physical teams that that uh, plays in our league. They're a physical team. They're really good on both lines of scrimmage. Jeffrey Simmons, Danico Autry, Harold Landry. How are the New Orleans Saints? How is that offensive line going to handle that pressure in the front? Trevor Penning is going to be starting at left tackle for the first time in his career. Ryan Ranchick's coming off the worst the worst year of his career. Cesar Ruiz has never really looked like a great starter in the NFL. When the Saints were great, we focused so much, obviously, on Drew Brees, and rightfully so. But, man, when you had Jonathan Goodwin, and when you had Carl Nix, and you had Jari Evans, and you had Teron Armstead, you had an incredible offensive line. And the Saints have invested resources. I mean, Andrews Pete was a first-rounder. Eric McCoy was a second-rounder. Ruiz was a first-rounder. Ramchick was a first-rounder. Penning, the first-rounder. You've invested draft capital. I don't know if that unit is good yet. Can they keep Derek, right, uh, Derek Carr upright? Can they run the ball? A question that's compounded further by the fact that you're not going to have Alvin Kamara, who's not only your best running back, but also is great catching the ball out of the backfield. And I, Kendra Miller likely not going to play in this game as well. And what is Jamal Williams going to be able to do? I don't know. I think there's so many questions on that Saints offense that it's hard for me to get there saying, yep, from jump, they're just going to go kaboom. I hope they do. My goodness, I hope we go. And it looks like a revival for Michael Thomas and Chris Olave builds on his great freshman season he had a year ago as a rookie. And this offensive line, Trevor Penning, looks like a franchise left tackle. And, I, and Derek Carr drinks from the fountain of youth. That's what we're all hoping happens. And it very well could. But when you go into this game, i got to look at what I know. And what I know is Tennessee's got a great defensive front. They have a more successful head coach than you. And offensively, the Saints have never had to face Derrick Henry. And the Saints' run defense last year was terrible. They were 24th in the NFL in run defense. And now you got to face that offensive line and Derrick Henry coming in week one. If the Saints can load up and stop Derrick Henry and make Ryan Tannehill beat you, I'm not confident he can. Now, remember, they also went out and got DeAndre Hopkins. And if he decides he's going to be DeAndre Hopkins again, that's a great matchup with he and Marshawn Lattimore. We'll see how that plays out. I think this. I think the odds makers have this right. I think this is a low-scoring game. I think this is a field goal game. And I sure hope that the Saints are the one that hit the field goal at the end of the game to win it. Blake Groupie, what a statement it could make if he is the guy that kicks that field goal that wins it for New Orleans. The Saints are a three-point home favorite in a coin flip type game. But for me, i got to be honest, and i got to go with the team I think is better on both lines of scrimmage. And Nick Folk is the, the kicker for, 
the Tennessee Titans. And I'm going to go ahead and guess that Tennessee is the one that eats this one out. I'm going to pick the Titans 27-24 to to beat the Saints in the open. So. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.